Howdy, howdy, guys. Shane McNamara here, co founder of the Dog Trainers Syndicate Group with my ebook and the owner of Bell and Canine down in Santa Fe, Texas. We're going to be talking about the pros and cons of training your dog younger than six months or training your dog at six months to one year. So many people have differing opinions on whether a dog should be trained. And there are valid points to consider for both sides on the age topic. Let's dive into the pros and cons of each scenario. So starting with the training of dogs at, young, at a young age, the primary benefit is that puppies are eager to learn. They are constantly looking for attention from their owners and you need to really use positive reinforcement. With these right techniques, you can ensure that your pup is learning in a positive and benign environment. When forming habits in a puppy's mind, this is incredibly valuable. However, starting training too early can stress puppies out, leading to negative connotations with the training process. So you must prioritize your pup's well-being throughout each session. And it might be better just to wait to give the trainer a little bit of an older dog. So let's get into that. On the other hand, training an older dog can be beneficial in some ways because they may already have an understanding of basic commands or the conceptuality to understand it. However, there may be pre-existing bad habits or undesirable behaviors developed since being adopted that are imprinted in the dog. With an older dog, it may require more patience to break these habits and establish new ones. In addition, older dogs may not be as receptive to training because they are naturally set in their ways. But I don't always believe that because conditioning can override those old ways and you can create a really good dog. So ultimately, it's up to you as the owner to decide which route is best for your pup. All dogs are different and respond in different ways, so it's important to research your pup's breed and look for advice from a trusted trainer. Consider your pup's individual needs to determine when it's the best time to start the training journey. And I encourage you to look for a trainer that has options for both puppies and older dogs. The training styles are going to be different because the amount of information that the dog can obtain is going to be different at different ages. Never expect a child to be able to enroll in a college program and never expect a college program to be being trained like a child. There's different tactics and techniques as in balance training purely or purely positive for that of puppies. If you have questions about any of these topics or concerns or you just want to put your comments down below and start a healthy dialogue, I would love to hear your opinions on this topic. All too often, I'm being asked about dogs that are far too young to be enrolled in boarding trains. What are your thoughts? Let's see what you have to say.